So I'm here with Lydia Olivier, 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 yeah. Olivier of Padua, which is in Delaware, after she completely blew out the field in her bar girls' varsity mile race, breaking five minutes. How are you feeling right now? Um, I feel really good. I wasn't really sure, like, how to approach just coming in just because we've had a really long cross-country season, and so this was kind of our last uh, indoor meet before we're going to take our break, before we kind of get in gear for the rest of the season. So I just was kind of taking it as a time trial to see what I could do, and I was really happy with it. So you haven't taken a break from cross-country yet? Uh, not yet. Um, I ran at Nationals, uh, I guess December 2nd, uh, two, three weeks ago, I'm not really sure. So we just we decided to get two indoor meets in in December and to get some qualifying times for our state meet and then take our break over the holidays, so it'll be really nice. Well, that's smart thinking. So now coming off of your cross-country season and literally going right into track, yeah. how did you feel like cross-country helped set you up? Did you think it was a good thing that you just went right into track? Yeah, we did this last year, so I thought it, I thought it went well. It's nice because you're coming off of a season where you just build up so much strength and endurance from running 5Ks and doing long runs and all those longer intervals. So I kind of was excited just because I, I knew my speed might not be exactly there like it usually is, but I'll have the strength to carry me over. So we were all really excited to see what we could do. Yeah, because coming off of cross country, I mean, you go from having to actually have a load of endurance, being outside, running longer distances. How was the transition coming right over into track and then having to run not only a shorter distance, but indoors as well? Yeah. Well, I was really sure with the breathing's always some, always fun to figure indoors? out. Indoors? Oh, yeah. Of course. So, um, last week we had a meet at uh, Franklin and Marshall, and I was in the 3K, so I was like, oh, that'll be nice. Not too much of a difference. So, that was nice, and then this week I'm, I'm doing the, I did the mile, and then I'm going to do the 4 by 8 So, I was like, okay, it's a little bit more of the speed, so. Um, I don't know, we've, it's been nice getting on the track for, like, workouts, so I kind of had an idea um, from off of, like, outdoor where I would want to be or where I might want to be and or should be, so I just kind of geared off of that and just went for it. So, what was your race plan for today? Um, I just wanted to try to go out and, I was just kind of gearing for maybe go out in 225 for the 8 and just see how I felt. Um, I wasn't sure if the wheels were going to fall off or not, but I was like, at least I just got to try it and see how it goes. And I actually felt, I felt really strong today, so it, was, it, um, it felt really good. Yeah, you looked really strong out there too. I mean, because you were with, I believe, two or three other girls. You were kind of in a pack mm -hmm. for the majority of the race. Yeah. And then I think with about 600 meters to go, you completely left them. And you just went off. What was it that made you realize, all right, I don't need this anymore. I yeah, can just do this. Well, um, I knew the competition was going to be great coming in. And I just wanted to, I mean, obviously gear off of what they were going to do. I wasn't really sure. But I also knew coming in today I was going for time rather than place. So I just wanted to make sure I ran the race that I wanted to run. And so I didn't want tactics to kind of dictate it. So I just kind of went out. I could hear them behind me. So I just, it kind of helped because I knew, okay, this will help me pull me along and give me a race and everything. So that was really great. And so I just kind of tried to tune it out because I wasn't really sure what was going on behind me. But I just went to run my race and I was just prepared for anything that was going to come up along my shoulders or anything. So in terms of time, did was this one of your better races or your better times or is this right along where you left track last year? Yeah, it, um, it's like a, a little bit slower, not like right around like what I ended track on, which is really, I actually was not expecting this last year. I ran this and I ran like, I think 504 or 505. So I just was kind of hoping to do that and maybe break five. So I'm really happy with where I'm at right now. So it's getting me really excited for the rest of the night. Now going into your break and then proceeding on into the rest of the season from here, how this time making you feel like what your goals might be or what are you trying to reach for? Um, I don't know. I guess this is my first time, I guess, breaking five officially in indoor, so that was really exciting, but I guess, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'm trying to probably hope for the, to get this time again or maybe a little bit faster. I love to, I guess, get in the lower 450s, I guess, um, maybe dip a little bit under just to, I mean, that's definitely my goal for outdoor, so we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's going to be exciting. some good relays this year and some DMR so I know that'll be helpful for our team. Yeah, so I'm really excited with how today was. I was going to say, 
Dave, you already started off your season breaking five minutes, being one of your best times indoors. Mm -hmm. I feel like you must be pretty confident about, all right, it can only get better from here. Yeah, no, that's not fun. I felt really strong doing it, so that also made me feel really confident about it. It wasn't, like, super... Um, I thought it was, I don't know, I guess I wasn't expecting that, but I felt really strong, so I'm really excited for when I just kind of build that speed endurance, like what else I can do, so I was really happy. Yeah, and you looked really strong. Oh. Regardless, congratulations on your race, and good luck for the rest of the season, okay? Thank you.